governor announced on Tuesday the end of the mass mandate for schools as the director and public health nurse. What are your thoughts on that decision? I have mixed thoughts about that. I certainly understand um, how difficult it's been for parents and children um, to continue to remain masked. And there's some frustration seeing the numbers going down and feeling like there's no changes in trends. So I don't have objections to it. I have some slight concern that there's a possibility we might see in school transmission because you had that double barrier against that. So if you had children that had COVID, they at least had the double barrier and were pretty much caught quickly. So now you're going to have kids that are three feet apart that might have cold-like symptoms with no barriers. But it's kind of a wait and see because the cases are dropping precipitously. The timing surprised you at all because all we've read about and heard about are clusters after vacations, Christmas vacation. And this starts the day after the kids come back from a week vacation. Absolutely. We actually, um, there was a discussion in the office this morning about that. Was, gee, wouldn't it be better to have waited another week or so to give it an extra week? The problem that I'm thinking may be is that you would have had to have an extension of the current mask mandates for another week or two weeks. And I think there's been a lot of pressure, parent groups and others, that um, at this point they just f decided that, all right, the last extension was February 28th. We're not going to extend it any further. We'll just use that and we'll deal with it. Every time I see these vaccination statistics for North Attleboro, I'm always amazed that North Attleboro is below the state average. Any idea why? It's, it's a frustrating thing. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I think it might have to do perhaps with the, the population and ages. You know, we're finding that those who are least vaccinated are the very, very young. They weren't able to before and then the 20 to 30 range there. So I can't say you know, what our statistics specifically are there, but that's what we're seeing is the group that is probably the least vaccinated. If they haven't had to for college or a job mandate, we're not seeing them vaccinated. And for someone watching this who still isn't vaccinated, but Oh boy, now with the mask coming off, maybe I should. Are they easy to get? Very easy. There's all kinds of appointments open. They can get it at any of the pharmacies, um, anywhere. So CVS, Walmart, Rite Aid, Walgreens, Target, any of those pharmacies, you can go right online. If you are not good at online registration, you could go to them and ask for help and make an appointment. Um, you know, a couple of months ago, three, four months ago, it was challenging. You'd have to wait a week to get an appointment. Now I'm finding appointments open that day. And if not that day, they're wide open for the next day. So very easy. And people should still continue to test if they're not feeling well? Yes. So Omicron is still here. We are still having people who are getting it, who haven't had it before. It's the challenge of getting people to recognize the symptoms because they are so similar. If you're vaccinated, they're very similar. They're cold like stuffy nose. So it's hard in this kind of weather to say, oh, this might be COVID, I should test. But if people have tests, if they've signed up for the free tests, they're more likely to test. And we do highly encourage that. 